Hello and welcome. I'm your host Aditi Singh and you're watching My India. Cricket is akin to a religion in India where young enthusiasts strive tirelessly to join Team India and represent the country internationally. The cricket crazy nation received a significant boost as the Indian cricket team clinched the T20 World Cup title in Barbados. Let's explore why cricket continues to captivate the youth in India. A hero's welcome awaited Team India as they returned home, triumphant champions of the ICC Men's T20 World Cup in Barbados. Amidst the sea of jubilant fans, the streets transformed into a carnival of cheers, tricolor flags and beating drums. The victory reflects the joy and pride of a nation united in celebration. The players, adorned with garlands and smiles, held the coveted trophy high, symbolizing their hard-fought victory. From street parades to heartfelt speeches, India embraced its cricketing heroes, celebrating not just a win, but a testament to resilience, teamwork, and the spirit of the game. After nearly four weeks of power-packed action, India lifted the ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024 trophy by defeating South Africa by seven runs in the final match at the Kensington Oval in Bridgetown. The cricket fans in India are delighted with the win. Rohit Sharma deservingly deserves this trophy. So many heartbreaks, 2023, 2023 WTC final, and now finally we have World Cup, which we have won. It was a very close match, and the team of India has done it. There were thousands of Indian fans who were on the team. The Indian players have done it. The players have done it. The players have done it. Cricket has even caught the fancy of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who invited the victorious team to be part of the national celebrations. He praised the team for their dedication, resilience and exemplary teamwork which brought immense pride to the nation you know there's the fantastic talent hai in indian cricket mein abhi um, and jo uh, in logo ki energy hai in logo ki confidence hai wo ek alag level ki hai at this point of time aur mujhe puri ummeed hai aur main chahta hu bhi ye bhi hu ki ye ek jo shuruaat thi bahut dino se hum ye khoj rahe the ek icc trophy और इस कॉन्फिडेंस को आगे ले लेके जाके मेरे पूरी उम्मीद है कि आगे जाके इंडियन क्रिकेट बहुत सारी ट्रॉफी जीतेगी अगले चार पाँच छः सालों में दिस ए ग्रेट अचीवमेंट आई मीन आफ्टर 11 ट्वेल्व इयर्स यू फी आर विनिंग द वर्ल्ड कप बाय डिफीटिंग साउथ अफ्रीका एंड मैनी अदर कंट्रीज सो इट्स ए ग्रेट अचीवमेंट द फ्यूचर ऑफ क्रिकेट इन इंडिया लुक्स प्रोमिसिंग with a passionate fan base and increasing numbers of youngsters aspiring to make cricket their career. From a young age, many join cricket academies to refine their talents. Meet Harshit Kumar, a 15-year-old aspiring cricketer training at a cricket academy in New Delhi. His dream is to represent India and bring glory to the nation. Cricket is an emotion for me. I mean, I have been in my life with cricket. क्योंकि जब इंडिया ने वर्ल्ड कप जीता वो काफ़ी इमोशनल टाइम था मेरे लिए क्योंकि मेरे को पता है इंडिया कितने टाइम बाद वर्ल्ड कप जीती है मेरे घर वाले भी बहुत खुश थे तो जब ये बात होती है कि क्रिकेट तुम्हारे लिए क्या है या क्या नहीं है ये चीज़ ना मैं वर्ल्ड में काफ़ी ज़्यादा बार एक्सप्लेन ही नहीं कर पाता क्योंकि ये एक इमोशन है मतलब मैं अगर क्रिकेट छोड़ना भी चाहूँ ना तो ये चीज़ अंदर से खटकती रहती है कि क्रिकेट है क्रिकेट है तो वो एक इमोशन सा बन गया है मेरे लिए और मैं बस यही चाहता हूँ कि मेरे जितने भी फ्रेंड्स हैं या जितने भी मेरे कलीग्स हैं वो मेरे साथ आगे रहे ताकि हम लोग इंडिया के लिए एक और वर्ल्ड कप ला सकें। The Indian Premier League (IPL) started in 2008, revolutionized cricket with its mix of entertainment and sportsmanship. It drew global stars, highlighted local talent, and gained corporate sponsorships that boosted player earnings, facilities, and grassroots programs across India. 
The franchise system enhanced regional pride, making cricket even more culturally significant. Its success sparked international interest, solidifying India's cricket dominance and ensuring a bright future for the sport. The Indian textile industry, a resilient contributor to the economy, has thrived for generations. As India's economy continues to grow, the sector is poised for significant expansion. Predictions suggest its GDP contribution will double by the decade's end, accompanied by substantial growth in exports. This industry plays a crucial role in driving India's economic growth. The Indian textile industry has long been a cornerstone of the nation's resilient economy, providing ample opportunities for local and global businesses alike. As India's economy advances towards the $5 trillion mark next year, and is projected to reach $7 trillion by 2030, the textile sector is poised to expand its manufacturing capacity significantly. Projections suggest that the textile industry's GDP contribution will double, rising from 2.3% to approximately 5% by the end of the decade. According to the India Brand Equity Foundation, India's textiles and apparel exports are expected to grow from 30 billion USD in 2021 to 2022 to 65 billion USD by 2026 to 2027. To further boost textile exports and solidify India's global leadership in the sector, the government has implemented several export promotion policies and opened the sector to 100% foreign direct investment. हम अपने हैंडलूम अपने खादी अपने टेक्सटाइल सेक्टर को वर्ल्ड चैंपियन बनाना चाहते हैं लेकिन इसके लिए सबका प्रयास जरूरी है श्रमिक हो बुनकर हो डिजाइनर हो या इंडस्ट्री सबको एक निष्ठ प्रयास करने होंगे Surat, a city located in western India, stands as Asia's largest textile market, hosting some of the country's largest textile industries driving the manufacturing sector. One notable player is the Lakshmi Pati Group, renowned for its high-quality man-made fabrics and a diverse range of clothing including saris, kurtis, gowns and shirts, catering to a broad customer base. The group is also expanding into the technical textile market. India's technical textile market shows significant potential with an expected growth rate of 10%, reaching increased penetration levels of between 9 to 10%. It ranks as the world's fifth largest market for technical textiles, crucial for industries like automobiles, civil engineering, construction, agriculture, healthcare, and industrial safety. अभी तक जैसा कि हम सभी जानते थे कि सूरत का फोकस डोमेस्टिक मार्केट पर था जिसमें सारी इसका प्रोडक्शन बहुत बड़े पैमाने पर हो रहा था उसके बाद में ड्रेस मटेरियल आया फिर टेंट के जो कपड़े थे वो पहले किसी जमाने में कॉटन के हुआ करते थे वो सारा का सारा कन्वर्ट पॉलिएस्टर और नाइलॉन बेस में हो गया इसके बाद में अब धीरे 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 जो टेपेस्ट्री है या जिसे आप होम फर्निशिंग बोलते हैं सूरत उसमें भी आया उसके बाद अब जो नया जो पार्ट आ रहा है वो टेक्निकल टेक्सटाइल का आ रहा है तो ये एक तरीके से देखा जाए तो सूरत का जो डाइवर्सिफाई है प्रोडक्ट में बहुत अच्छे से होता जा रहा है जिसमें कि कल तक जो हम कपड़े चाइना से या किसी और देशों से भी हम इंपोर्ट करते थे वो सारे कपड़े अब धीरे 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 सूरत में बनने के लिए आने लगे और सूरत को धीरे धीरे उनमें भी महारत हासिल होने लगी है Saris continue to hold a timeless charm in India and beyond, revered as the most ethnic and regal attire for women, especially during weddings and other celebrations. Nida Ambani, founder and chairperson of Reliance Foundation, highlighted Saris' everlasting charm by visiting Varanasi city to place a substantial order of exclusive handcrafted Banarasi Saris ahead of her son Anant Ambani's wedding celebration. 
This gesture underscores the industry's commitment to preserving traditional handlooms alongside advancements in textile technology. With increasing consumerism and disposable incomes, India's retail sector has experienced rapid growth over the past decade. The future of India's textile industry appears promising, driven by robust domestic consumption and growing export demand. From spinning wheels to modern rapier looms, India's textile industry has made significant strides, playing a pivotal role in fostering national and global economic growth. Sheikh Moi Bula Shah Dargah in Prayagraj is more than just a shrine. It is a beacon of spiritual light, cultural heritage and communal harmony. It is a reminder of the rich tapestry of India's spiritual landscape, where diverse traditions converge in a spirit of mutual respect and love. The Dargah continues to inspire and guide countless individuals on their spiritual journeys, embodying the timeless teachings of Sheikh Moibullah Shah. Take a look. Sheikh Moibullah Shah Dargah, situated in the historic city of Prayagraj in India, is a testament to the region's deep spiritual heritage and integrated culture. This revered shrine draws devotees from diverse backgrounds, transcending religious and cultural boundaries. It stands as a symbol of peace, unity and spiritual solace. Sheikh Mohibullah Shah's teachings and spiritual guidance left an indelible mark on his followers and his legacy continues to inspire generations. We come from here, all the people come from here, all the people come from here. और यहाँ पे सब देखभाल भी करते हैं हिंदू मुसलमान सब मिलके सब भाईचारा बनाए रहते हैं हिंदू मुसलमान सारे लोग हैं यहाँ पे और मैं बचपन से आता हूँ जो मुरादे होती हैं वो पूरी हो जाती हैं। The Dargha serves as a focal point for the annual Urs festival commemorating the death anniversary of Sheikh Mohibullah Shah. This event draws thousands of pilgrims from across the country and beyond who come to participate in prayers, kawali and other religious activities. The Urs is a vibrant celebration of the saints' life and teachings, marked by a sense of communal harmony and devotion. I come to the same time, I have been coming to the same day. We feel good here. We live here like this. We get to the same time. It's very good here. There is a place of God's grace. Sheikh Mohibullah Shah Dargah is not just a spiritual center for Muslims but also welcomes Hindus, Sikhs, Christians and people of other faiths who come to seek blessings and experience the serene atmosphere. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Dargah is its role in promoting interfaith harmony. People from diverse religious backgrounds visit the shrine reflecting the inclusive nature of Sufism. Now let's delve into World in Focus, featuring the latest global developments and events shaping our world. Shuri Castle in Okinawa, Japan, a spiritual symbol built in the 15th century, has twice faced destruction, once during the Pacific War and again in 2019 due to a fire. Despite these challenges, it remains a World Heritage Site. In 2022, Shimizu Corporation began restoration efforts and in May, a traditional rich pole raising ceremony dating back to the 8th century was held. Participants including relatives and designated individuals pulled ropes to lift the rich pole, marking the completion of the roof. Skilled workers secured it with wooden hammers praying for the castle's successful reconstruction and safety. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Shimizu Corporation, a leading construction company, specializes in modern buildings and traditional Japanese wooden structures. By combining modern and traditional techniques, they address both the spiritual and emotional needs of the people, ensuring security and cultural continuity. A manufacturing-themed exhibition in Tokyo attracted around 2,000 companies from Japan and worldwide. Japanese products known for their exceptional quality owe much to small businesses and master craftsmen. The Subame Sanjo region in Niigata Prefecture, known as the factory town, houses many small factories with advanced technology. ものをやっている会社になりますはい主に鉄やステンレスですね農商品をやってますはい。金属の加工が本当に盛んな地域ですのでま非常に細かいものであったりとか非常に大きなものであったりとかまた精度もすごく高い技術を持っていますなので世界
Apart from Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, and Telangana are other Indian states where mangoes are produced in large quantities. India is a leading exporter of fresh mangoes worldwide. According to statistics, India exported approximately 23,000 metric tons of fresh mangoes, valued at 48.53 million USD during the year 2022 to 2023. Countries like the UAE, UK, USA, Kuwait, and Qatar are significant importers of Indian mangoes. The demand for Indian mangoes continues to rise abroad, with many countries, including Germany, preferring Indian mangoes. I'm very excited because everybody knows how much I like, like mangoes and when you go through the European supermarkets in Germany and elsewhere, basically the main you know, mangoes you find are from Brazil or West Africa and I think uh, Europeans deserve to have the good mangoes uh, coming from South Asia, from India in particular. So what we have now is indeed uh, the first batch of mangoes from North India, it's Malda, it's uh, Dusheri, it's uh, Chosa, coming to Belgium as a first uh, country. Various states in India host annual mango festivals where traders and producers showcase and sell a variety of mangoes. These festivals highlight the country's passion for mangoes. Additionally, the government is taking several steps to boost mango production and exports, ensuring that Indian mangoes continue to dominate global markets and significantly contribute to the nation's economy. India, famed for its epics, classical folk traditions and majestic culture, has enriched the world with its diverse heritage. Centuries-old Indian martial arts thrive today through a blend of traditional practices and modern adaptations. In the country's northeastern Manipur state, a community is dedicated to promoting Thangta, the region's traditional martial art, aiming for global recognition. Manipur, located in India's northeast, is renowned for its rich cultural heritage, scenic landscapes, and unique traditions. One of its notable cultural treasures is the traditional martial art known as Tong Ta, locally called Zuyen Lang Long, which combines combat techniques with rhythmic movements and artistic expression. Historically, Tong Ta was developed as combat training for the Métis warriors of Manipur, incorporating the use of Tong, sword, and Ta, spear. This martial art serves as self-defense and promotes physical fitness and mental well-being through rigorous training to develop strength and endurance. During the British colonial era, Tong Ta faced a decline, but has experienced a resurgence in recent times. In 2021, Tang Ta, along with other sports, was included in the Kalo India Youth Games, contributing to its growing global recognition. Masters like Hui Drum Prem Kumar have been instrumental in revitalizing this ancient art form. Today, Hui Drum Prem Kumar continues his family's legacy and promotes Manipuri culture through his academy, the Meiti Hui On Lang Long Tang Ta, located in Imphal, the capital city of Manipur. His efforts underscore the enduring significance of Tang Ta in preserving cultural heritage and promoting physical and mental well-being. This day, Tang Ta included to the school game Federation of India. And uh, uh, this also uh, 14, 15 times uh, school game Federation uh, sports is going on. And uh, uh, now, Government of India, Ministry of Sports, uh, Kelo India section, our Tang Ta also included. And, uh, and they include the is the event of the Kelo India now. I'm very happy and then now we are trying for uh, inclusion Olympic game. Let's delve into another martial heritage. Katka, deeply rooted in the Sikh tradition in India. It made its debut in the 2023 National Games as a demonstration sport, gaining widespread recognition for its fluid movements and use of traditional weapons. Gatka isn't merely a combat technique, but also a spiritual and cultural expression.
Gatka is a traditional martial art associated with the Sikh community across India, dating back to the 17th century. It combines spiritual practice with physical prowess and includes the use of traditional weapons, such as the kirpan, short sword, talwar, curved sword, lati, staff, chakar, throwing ring, and katar, dagger. In New Delhi, Hargobind Ajit Gatka Akara International Buddha Doll, like many other academies, has been teaching students for 25 years. Ravinder Paul, who runs the academy, shares that many of his students have not only participated, but also won prizes at international levels. जैसे हमारा वॉर्म अप होता है ऐसे मेडिटेशन होती है हमारे पार्ट होते हैं बच्चों को पार्ट से आते हैं जो ये पहला एक हमारा सब्जेक्ट है कि पाठ करना जरूरी है भक्ति और शक्ति ये जो गतका ये शक्ति है भक्ति करनी है नित्यनेम आना चाहिए बच्चे को मूल मंत्र आना चाहिए पाठ आना चाहिए बच्चों को कि पहले बच्चे को ये शर्त रखते हम ज्वाइन कराते हैं अपने ग्रुप में कि इस चीज का हमने गलत इस्तेमाल नहीं करना मिसबिहेव नहीं करना क्योंकि हमने अगर किसी की रक्षा करनी है उसको बचाना है तो किसी मजलूम को बचाना है ये नहीं कि हमने गतका सीख लिया मार्शल आर्ट सीख लिया हमें सब कुछ आ गया कि सामने वाले को हमने अटैक किया बिल्कुल नहीं इसको हम उस हिसाब से चलाते हैं बच्चों को कि भक्ति और शक्ति में बच्चा जुड़ा रहे अपने धर्म में जुड़ा रहे बच्चा बहुत जरूरी है हमारे लिए द प्रैक्टिशनर्स एग्जीक्यूट द आर्ट फॉर्म विद इंट्रिकेट फुटवर्क एम्प्लॉइंग बोथ डिफेंसिव एंड ऑफेंसिव टेक्निक्स characterized by swift strikes and fluid movements gatka apni physical fitness aur ye mera religious bhi hai dharmik hai gatka ye hamare 10vein guru ne hame diya to aap as a har ek sikh ki responsibility hai apne gatka seekhna aage sikhana main apne ustad ji se gatka seekha india's diverse martial arts are integral to cultural celebrations showcasing unique combat styles and weaponry From Kalari Pai Tu in Kerala to Tang Ta in Manipur, each reflects deep traditions and historical significance. During festivals like Navratri and Vaisakhi, martial arts not only entertain but also educate about cultural heritage. These practices highlight India's rich tapestry, blending physical prowess with spiritual and cultural dimensions in vibrant settings. Martial arts have a long cultural history passed down through generations with diverse styles and unique significance. With that it's a wrap on today's episode but we will see you next week at the same time till then goodbye and take care. Mm -hmm.